you would hope that we can do it without war. If you look at the resources within Asia, some would argue that ASEAN is a mini concert. It's these states who deal with each other and their primary objective is to avoid war with each other and interference in each other's <coughs> activities. And some might be critical that they, it's irrelevant for solving certain problems, but it has succeeded significantly as a, as a mini concept. If you take the, the, the Shanghai Corporation Organisation, arguably it's a concert for the landmass, the world island of those countries to work together to avoid, keep out outside and also deal with each other. Is it impossible for countries to imagine a coordinated management of differences amongst the great powers, that's the challenge. And hopefully it won't be because there's been a major war. Um, if I, um, how long will it take for the United States to displace for trying to displace the United States. First of all, in terms of actual naval assets, ship numbers, China's already has a bigger fleet than the United States. And its production capacity is phenomenal. We will, I think, apart from exploring the, the, the network of um, ports that in a, in a Mahanist theory, they're crucial, being able to deploy your assets in those areas, I suspect we will know that the, um, the complete ability of China to project power will be reflected in when they get to six, eight aircraft carriers, aircraft carrier groups, which is what they're working towards. So I think now they're at um, three or four aircraft carrier groups. Um, once they can match the United States on aircraft carrier groups and be able to project power significantly with um, uh, assuming no other major um, uh, breakthrough in uh, advanced technology that renders those those platforms useless. I would say that in two decades, if they can match the United States on aircraft carrier groups, then you're talking seriously about them being matching the United States. But it's not as... If you read that book on the Echidna strategy, um, and I don't know if you all know what an Echidna is. Do you all know what an Echidna is? It's a little little marsupial, and it's a bit like a porcupine, um, and it's one of the longest living creatures on the planet. And it, the argument that Sam is Australian, and the, the argument that, that Sam makes is, it's been able to survive that long because it's focused completely on defence. It's just got all these spikes, and when you come near it, it just wraps itself up, and it's it's you've got a problem of trying to get through all those. And he, he argues that that's the approach we should be taking. We shouldn't be engaged in the arrangements with the United States and so on. I, I think that um, um, that, that, um, that, that shift toward, away from the United States will increasingly be reflected in how, how governments view... But his major concern with that defence is he does not believe that America's commitment and willpower to engage in the in the East Asia still is there. He believes it's, in, it's China's strategic interests at stake and it matters more to them than it does to the United States, that their de deterrence is no longer credible, it will become less so, and if at any point states, as you, I think you see now with Japan, Japan is essentially acting in a way that assumes that it has to do this itself because it's not confident the United States would do it. So, um, uh, how long would it take? 